está voltando de hoje, nós trazemos uma matéria extraordinária. No mundo muçulmano, Jesus está aparecendo para eles em sonho e até em visões. E eles estão aceitando a Jesus como Senhor e Salvador da vida deles. Muitos até estão sendo curados pelo surgimento na frente deles de Jesus. Essa matéria foi gravada por Chris Mitchell, ele que é correspondente da CBN News lá em Jerusalém. Nós já colocamos um vídeo quando falamos sobre a reconstrução do tempo que ele estava lá fazendo entrevistas. E desta vez ele está entrevistando muitos ex-muçulmanos que se converteram através de sonhos, visões sobre Jesus na vida deles. É algo para pensarmos. Nós do Ocidente, muitos não estamos valorizando o nosso Senhor e Salvador Jesus Cristo de Nazaré. E enquanto isso, outros estão com muita sede de descobrir esse Deus maravilhoso, eles que só conhecem Alá, um Deus que mata, um Deus que destrói, e estão querendo saber deste Deus maravilhoso e do Filho dele, Jesus Cristo de Nazaré. E milhares estão se convertendo ao Senhor Jesus. Você vai ver as entrevistas como é algo fascinante. E é um sinal para os nossos tempos que Jesus está com pressa de arrebanhar um grande rebanho para levar para o céu no arrebatamento. Então, confira agora esta matéria. Nós, aqui do programa Jesus está voltando, legendamos para que você possa entender. Porque muita coisa está acontecendo, não temos tempo nem de dublar, nem de legendar, mas esse aí nós fizemos questão de legendar para você entender o que o nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo está fazendo no mundo muçulmano. Milhares estão aceitando como Senhor e Salvador. Por isso, fique ligado no programa Jesus está voltando, para você estar antenado com as ocorrências mundiais, sinalizando que... Jesus está voltando. 1400 year history of Islam, it's resisted the Christian gospel. For centuries, many Christians tried to reach Muslims with the good news with little success. But according to many reports throughout the Middle East and around the world, that history is changing. Nazar Shaheen is the host of Light for All Nations, a Christian program seen throughout the Middle East. I see many, many Arabic-speaking people turning to Christ, accepting Him as Lord and Savior. What's happening nowadays in the Muslim world has never happened before. Father Zachariah Boutras, an Egyptian Coptic priest, is one of the foremost evangelists to the Muslim world. He says Muslims of all ages and backgrounds are accepting Jesus Christ. Young and old. Educated and not educated, males and females, uh, even those who are fanatic. One fanatic Muslim who came to faith in Jesus Christ is Samir Ahmed Mohammed. He studied for years to become a Wahhabi Sheikh, one of the most virulent forms of Islam. He hated Christians and the church, but his heart changed when he heard the gospel. Anna. I dedicated my life to Jesus Christ. Jesus forgave me for my sins. He gave me eternal life and peace. And the second thing, I really suffered in my daily life. But I had peace, I had joy, because Jesus entered my heart. But Mohammed is just one of many Muslims who are coming to Jesus. Heidi Baker of Iris Ministries sees thousands of African Muslims receiving Jesus and getting baptized. It's probably the only place in the world where they're coming so quickly. Many people are having dreams. They see Jesus appear to them. Probably half our pastors were leaders, imams in Muslim um, in mosques. They were leaders in these mosques. Now they're pastors. Technologies like satellite TV and the Internet also penetrate the world of Islam. But beyond technology, many say a supernatural dimension is also at work in the lives of Muslims. We receive lots of letters about people who have had dreams about the Lord, visions, even miracles. And when they watch the program, they say, yes, we had a dream or a vision, and they accept Jesus as Lord. 
But Muslims who accept Jesus face persecution, discrimination, or even death. Despite the dangers, many continue to live out their faith and lead others to Jesus Christ. Jesus loves all people. Jesus changes all people. And Jesus is the one who places love and peace. I was not like this, but Jesus changed my life. And I'm not scared to talk about Jesus, because praise is unto him. Some believe the church's response to jihad must be a fearless proclamation of the gospel to Muslims. Through prayer and evangelism, many see an unparalleled opportunity for the gospel. I anticipate this very near, and perhaps uh, within two or three years, we are going to see the greatest harvest in history. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Jesus the Christ. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9.